All right, it is Monday, August 10th. Nice overcast day, so I thought I would do some filming. Uh, here's the San Marzano on the side of the house. We've already pulled a couple tomatoes off here. Other than pulling some leaves, this one doing pretty well. Uh, there's my indigo rose. This thing is creeping out into the driveway. I gotta pull it up. This one is uh, doing relatively well too. I cannot wait to taste these. I have no idea, but those things are definitely black tomatoes. I'm loving it. These will make a good contrast next year against the red ones. Uh, over here, the sweetie cherry tomato that I just popped in there because I had an extra one. Alright, here's that little deal that I put together on the cart. Um, snack peas are doing well. Uh, the only one of them didn't come up other than that they all made it. Uh, there's the Garden of Eden beans. They're, uh, they're doing pretty good. I'm going to give this this back here a little bit of fertilizer. I got some nice organic stuff. I got rid of the pepper. I put that back in the bed. But I do have the lemon cucumber coming up. And I'm going to thread that right through this grate here. This grate here. And I'm going to bring it all the way up and loop it around that. All right, the grapes. Now, you can see that great plant way down here. Little puny thing that was overtaken by the snap peas. And at this point, I'm going to let these things just go out, go to seed, and I'm going to plant these next year. The other great plant, the uh, snap peas that the bunny ate, came back. I'm getting a little bit of flowers on there, but because they didn't, because it didn't compete with the snap peas. The grapevine is doing really well. All right, in the middle, we have another indigo rose cherry. Uh, I thought it was a cherry tomato plant, but these are a little bit bigger than cherry tomatoes. This one's doing well, and I'll probably get my first taste off of this one, maybe in about another week. Those tomatoes are still pretty hard. Over on the other side, we have a black fryer. But I am not seeing these tomatoes show any indication of black at all. I don't know, maybe at the very end they do. But I mean, these are just as green as green could be. The uh, morning glories along the fence, those are doing well. Had some nice color. I'm going to do a lot more of those next year. And then over to the rare black Korean tomato on the other side. Those do not look black at all either. Those just look kind of like a beef steak or something like that. There's a roundup going all the way over. Okay. Now, the middle bed, the cucumber. Let me cucumber. Uh, the leaves are in rough shape, but it's putting out some, some cucumbers. I'm definitely going to just go with like one plant next year, maybe two at tops. Uh, basil went to flower. Nostrium, that's still doing well. Uh, white cabbage butterfly caterpillars got to my kale. My fault, not paying attention. Other basil going to flower other kale plants that did pick up once I figured out what the problem was but still pretty holy and other snap pea bed this one is coming along real nice and I'm hoping this is going to yield me some nice snap peas in another few weeks alright to the melon bed okay these are doing well. These just finally started putting out melons. You see that one there? Uh, 
one dangling there. Starting to get some powdery mildew. And there's rain on the way. So sometime in the middle of this week, I'm going to treat them for that. With probably like an insect frass. These are the top mark melons here. Got a few of those down there. One of the other ones coming over this way. And the lemon cucumber that I planted in this bed. I should not have done melons all by themselves next year. And lemon cucumbers by themselves. But this one is also putting out lots of cucumbers. Okay, we're moving on to the petite, whatever those are called. Got one of those. Still not good with this camera. Got one of those somewhere in there. Those are coming along. And of course, my watermelons. See that bad boy down there? Wait for that tendril to shrivel up. That's uh, supposed to be an eight pounder. That's a pretty good size. These ones here, once they get like that, I know they're going to go bad. So I just pop them off so they don't compete. But I got another one there. Here. The bugs are driving me crazy. I kind of dotted all over the place here, but uh, that's cool. Getting them. I got one over there on the fence. Another one there growing on the fence, and I got some melons growing on the fence. All the way down there, you can see how that. Uh, Having trouble getting to those leaves there. And that is why next year's plan is the melon bed. It's going to go right in the center here. Right down 20 feet so that I can access it from both sides. Okay. Yeah, a little mushroom. It's a healthy yard there. Okay. Main reason for filming. Before I harvest these, I wanted to get a picture of my yellow Hungarian peppers. They are just, there's got to be 25 easy on this one. And the one right next door to it, another 20, 25 peppers. These ones finally came out hot this year. I waited till it was a dry day and we had some heat. And that definitely brought the capsation level up. Here, my Cali Wonder is in the bed. That one pepper is just enormous. This thing's almost as big as that watermelon over there. But uh, not a whole lot of peppers on this, but they're big ones. Okay, over on this side, my chocolate bells. And uh, those are coming along nice too. We got quite a few peppers on there. And uh, all the time, they're getting ripe and just beautiful and they have got such a deep but brown color to them and chill pepper plant that one's doing pretty good too got a morning glory hogging off of it but still no flowers i don't know about that and then a biochar pepper which is doing relatively well Okay, but the bed alongside the garage. All the wonder berries. Didn't really like those, so I won't be doing those next year. I'm leaving them just there for the birds, and I'll probably, if I do them at all, I'll do a bed just for the birds. Keep them happy. And I did pull out that um, ground cherry. It's doing crappy. The two surviving Cape gooseberries. Didn't really like them. A little bit too sour for me. I'll stick with ground cherries. Tomatillos. Those are doing excellent. Excellent. Wife is getting ready to do recipe today with them. See that nice purple color on there? Got quite a few of these. Hope I like them. And another 
couple Cape gooseberries. Finally got those Colorado potato beetles in check somewhat. And the other chocolate bell pepper. We got one over here. It's starting to turn. So that's cool. We'll be picking that soon. This is ideally what I'm looking for. Now it's got the slope on it. And then those ground cherries will just fall down each side of the bed. Okay, ground cherries. As you can see, there are ground cherries all over the place on the floor. These things have been putting out like mad. I must have gotten already a good five, six hundred ground cherries off of these. And, uh, I keep picking and they just keep on dropping all over the place. Next year, I'm going to redesign the bed. I'm going to make it so that it's narrow at the top. Somewhere between six inches and a foot at the top. And then going down to three feet at the base like a pyramid. And uh, hopefully I won't have to deal with trying to dig the ground cherries out of there because these plants lay low. Hopefully they'll just fall down the side like they did on the... Uh, compost bed. I'll show you that right now. Okay, back to the back bed. And as you can see, got those two pepper plants here, which I believe to be Hungarian wax. Got my two Sweetie Organics. And that one there is already putting out tomatoes. So that's cool. I'll have a bunch more of those because everybody loves them. And I cut back the one wonderberry plant because it was shading that out way too much. And we'll leave it for the birds. There, once again, is the ground cherry plant. That's a good uh, five footer wide. The cherry tomato plant. This is that coyote that just went completely crazy. All the way over there, all the way over there, all the way there, here, it's just going mad, just going mad. Here's that one, I think it's a black Korean that I stuck in there just for shits and giggles. And the triumph is starting to ripen up. Okay, adding to the peppers. I forgot about the back peppers. I can't do that. These are the ones in the compost bed. Uh, in my books, it said that it was supposed to be a Cubanelle and a chocolate bell, but these are looking like Hungarians to me. I don't know for sure yet. I haven't tasted them. But these ones I know are Hungarians. And these are just going bizarre go too. A good 25 peppers on there. That's in a 15 gallon pot. I got the 7 gallon pot, and the peppers are just smaller. These, by the way, were supposed to be Cubanels, but they sure are looking like Hungarian wax to me. This one here is supposed to be a chocolate bell. I don't know. This one might be actually a Cubanel. This one here, Carmen pepper. It's, uh, it's chugging along, going a little bit slow though. Another Carmen pepper in a 7 gallon. Got a pea plant doing well there. Cherry bomb peppers. This one's doing pretty good. Got quite a few of them in there. Just picked another red one yesterday. Jalapenos. We've did some stuffed ones here. There's probably 40 of them on this thing. And do some jalapeno relish and the other one in the seven gallon. Not going quite as good. Lesson learned. 